a gas powered class a motorhome factory fresh that i think you guys can full time in welcome to hb rv lifestyle they call me the honey badger because i give it to you straight and transparent about the rv business this is the 2024 forest river georgetown 36 k7 it's on the 26,000 pound chassis with 22 and a half inch rims and tires now if this is the first time that you've seen my channel the way i do a walkthrough is i spend 10 15 minutes going around the entire motor home and i talk about it without a bunch of special effects or jump cuts or weird editing and not a bunch of silly jokes either i tell you well there might be a few silly jokes but for the most part i talk about what i like and i don't like and believe me factories hate when i do this so anyway let's get this going it's full body paint frameless windows it has a hitch to be able to tow a car or some kind of vehicle rated at 5,000 pounds at least the hitch is the motorhome itself is able to tow 7,500 pounds it also has a backup camera as we go in you're gonna see it has a black tank flush outside shower great storage I love the underbelly storage for being a Ford gasoline uh, motorhome it, it really is amazing how much pass-through storage it has it's 50 amp service comes with a 7,000 watt gasoline generator it has an auto level system and I'll show you why later why it's 7,000 watt because most people are like why isn't it 5,500 I'll go over that a little bit later just look real quick at all the storage that's the mud flap, so we have to put that on. Remember, this is factory fresh, so you might find some things wrong because we haven't gone through and done our prep yet. It has side cameras. It's on the Ford V8. It's beautiful. I love the paint job. To me, the paint job is one of the better ones in the industry. That's just an opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments section outside television outside radio it comes with four chassis batteries from the factory so we don't have to add any as the dealer so that's really nice and coming back here it has the 10 gallon propane electric water heater now let's avoid nevada highway 160 noise some more and let's go right inside because you're going to notice the sound is going to go down and i'm gonna have to quiet my voice Close the door, listen to that, the noise is less. Love the privacy shades going all the way around. Yes, there is a privacy privacy shade on this side. They both have sun and dark shades, all three windows. So I like that. I like the electric bunk bed. And I'll show you why I like that better in just a few minutes. You'll get it as we go through this coach. The auto level system, you know, air conditioning up front, the desk, I call it the desk, the flip down. Love it all. Looks great. I like the seats. They're very cushiony. Uh, if you have an opportunity to sit in these seats, they may be the Ford original chairs, but the actual cushions and the fluff inside are actually aftermarket from the factory. And when you're spending $179 plus thousand dollars plus tax on something, you really want to be comfortable and not have to spend more money on comfort, right? Now, I do like the floor plan. It is a bunkhouse floor plan with a twist. I do like all the storage. This did not change. Most of this did not change from 2023. I'll show you the small little changes that they did do. But for the most part, it didn't change much. Now, the dinette is the same. It looks great. It's very comfortable. It's very spacious. What I don't like is this change. This changed, I don't know why, I don't know how, but that cutout is smaller. I swear that cutout is smaller. And to me, you now have wasted this entire area under the dinette. You were better off just putting a long drawer that pulls out on each side. To me, it's just a joke. I mean, you're spending, when a dealership is spending over $180,000 and has to sell it to the customer for more than $180,000, it becomes difficult when little things like that don't work out or aren't doing what they're supposed to do, okay? Now, 
A lot of people don't mind it. By the way, these are sink covers. Uh, this folds down to a bed. Some of the beautiful things that I do enjoy is, of course, their cabinet faces. They open and close really nicely. You got all of this storage. What I also do like is we have recliners that go electrically. So we're pressing these buttons. Ah, uh, yes. And then it has massage, mm. heated, heated, and lights. You saw the light turned on. See, boom, and off, on, off. So I love it. When you're full-time RVing and you want to watch some NFL Sunday or my favorite sport to watch anymore is college football, this is just a nice setup. You got the fireplace, sound bar. Could the TV be bigger? Absolutely. But that space there, I don't think can handle much bigger of a TV. Again, something you'll have to decide later on. Just remember this, they put crappy TVs in every RV. It's very rare for you to get a really great name brand television, no matter what you buy. You could buy Tiffin, you could buy Numar, and they still put junk TVs in the RVs. But it's an upgrade you can make yourself. Now going into the kitchen, I feel like this is pretty good kitchen counter space, especially with the addition of this, uh, we'll call it, extra turned up counter space anyway and you know with the sink covers and the oven covers which i took off it gives you an extra prep space to me for a motor home that is considered a bunkhouse and a two full bathroom uh, motor home that's pretty good the storage up top is good enough for like a big pot big pans everybody knows i'm a fan of tortilla soup and chili and a bunch of stuff that create so like needs big tall pots oh wait how am i gonna wash said pot when the freaking sink is a two-piece sink i don't know because motorhome uh builders don't realize one-piece sinks are better well personal preference this is it's just a personal preference of mine guys i prefer the one-piece sink it's more flexible it gives you more flexibility Love the drawers. They open and close really nice. Now, a lot of times in bathrooms in this uh, brand, we have to adjust the drawers. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to. We always end up doing that, which is fine. That's why we have a pre-delivery inspection process. Great setup for the three burner stove. That's becoming more common in the industry. Love it. Enjoying the bigger oven for like a small chicken, bigger pizzas. And then you have your convection microwave for your bigger stuff like your pot roast, things of that nature. The adult beverage area, ladies and gentlemen, I am now into Cabernet wine. Mm. And of course, yeah, you gotta love it when they give you a big, huge residential refrigerator with the itty bitty tiny freezer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... You know, my sarcasm meter goes up when I do some of these walkthroughs. All right, here in the first full bathroom, they give you a separate linen closet. It's got great storage inside. There we go, that's what I was talking about, see? I knew there was gonna have to be one that had to be adjusted. It always happens, guys. None of them are perfect when they come in the factory. I've had Tiffin motorhomes come in brand new, falling apart, especially the big, huge diesels. So, that's why you have a service department. That's why you have a pre-delivery uh, inspection process, or at least you should at every dealership. Great sink setup. Smallish shower, good enough for one person. But to have two full bathrooms and have good non-claustrophobic area around the toilet, I give it two thumbs up for that. All right, so. Moving forward, this is the bunk bed area, but the reason why, let, let, me, let me go back just one step as soon as I open this up. Let me open this up, fold it in. It's all magnetic, which is amazing. Closes really nice. But let's go back real quick. Remember when I said, I love this electric bunk bed. Here's the reason why. The flexibility of this space. 
So you have this rod that goes all the way down that you can put hangable clothes, suitcases, coolers. The storage capability of this area is incredible to me. If you think the same thing, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know also in the comments section. So let's say that you're a retired couple, you're hitting the road, two grandkids are coming with you. That bunk bed can be their main bed and you still have room for all their clothes, all their toys. It's, it's just got so much flexibility to it. I mean, I love it. And then this is different for 2024. They actually put a bigger drawer inside under B. So again, an area for the kids to put their toys, their tablets, their computers. They were smaller in 2023. They've made them wider. They've made them bigger. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but when you go see them in person, it was one of the notable changes I saw for 2024. All right, let's go into the master bedroom. Here you got a full king size bed, plenty of storage, nightstands on each time, both top and inside with plugs on each side. So you do have enough to charge your, uh, your laptops, your tablets. You got storage above. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the storage above the bed in a motorhome, especially as many cabinets as this already has. I don't know. But anyway, flat screen TV, more closet space. We put the pillows. Somebody put the pillows in the closet. That's okay. That's a good place to put them so they don't get so dirty. We're in the desert, man. <laughs> big drawers. Big, big drawers. Love it. See soft clothes. Like that? Watch. Boom. Soft clothes. Sorry. So good clothing storage down here is going to be your breaker box and your uh, fuse panel. And then over here, you got your stackable washer dryer. One of the many reasons why you have a 7,000 watt generator. Going inside the main bathroom, you got your medicine cabinets. I'm not going to open them up. Good counter space, drawers. The toilet's in a pretty good spot and the shower is bigger in the master than it is in the first full bathroom. So great looking unit, not a lot of changes from 2023, very small little ones. Uh, I am excited because we sold this one pretty quick the last time I had it in stock. Uh, now, if you look in the top right hand corner, I've got another really great motorhome walkthrough for you. And then just remember that RV stands for toolkit and sense of humor.